Hello everybody and welcome to the video. I am pleased to announce the release of my first ever program. It's written in auto hotkey and what it does is let you place random blocks from your hotbar into your Minecraft world. And you can choose whichever blocks you want, all of them, some of them, or just two of them. So if that's something you're interested in, please hang around and I'll show you how it works. So just to quickly touch back on where this program's come from, like I said in the intro, it's been written in auto hotkey, a very cool program. If you're into a coding, this is also going to help you around your computer. So it's useful and uh, you might learn a little bit of something, something. I certainly did. And the guys on here are very smart and I use this website a lot to help me build this program. Uh, and it also is a lot like Zoom Avoid's Clicker. So Zoom Avoid's Clicker has been written in auto hotkey as well, using probably most of the same things, uh, except his clicks and mine does some other right click stuff. But as you can see at the top here, he also has attention. You use this at your own risk. This XE program is compiled with auto hotkey and auto hotkey.exe. So that's where it's come from. Download and use it um, as you see fit. So let's move on with how this thing works. So once you've downloaded the uh, the exe file, you're going to have something that looks like this: Motherwood's random block placer. Now you may have found it from a different link, or if you haven't downloaded it already, it should be in the description for you to download right now. But once it's on your computer, all you have to do is double click on it, and it's going to launch up a little GUI uh, center of the screen. I haven't changed anything there. So what we have here is a indication of your Minecraft hotbar. So we've got slots one to nine. And if you tick these boxes, this is going to say the blocks that you want to randomize. So for the sake of making it really random, we're going to choose all the slots. But if you want, you can have not slot number four. You can have everything but slots. Uh, you can have slots four to nine and save room for your uh, axe pick and uh, uh, sword. So you can randomize from those blocks. So we'll roll with all of them for now. So once you've picked the blocks you want to randomize from your hotbar, or at least the slots, you need to click this button here. So it's all written here as well. Check the boxes above to set which blocks to use to randomize and then click the button below to activate. So every time you change these, you've got to press this button. Uh, what else is on this screen? We have the hotkey to pause and unpause the script. So control alt P. Pressing those together will pause the script so you can continue your Minecraft without right clicking randomly. And also a please note. Now this is something I do want to change, but currently the script assumes that your sneak key is left shift and that's how it works if you've changed that i the script may not work for you link to my youtube channel of course and we are good to go so we'll jump into minecraft so that script is activated so i've got all my slots running right now and you can see that i place a random block so it's as easy as that it also works with holding the shift down so you can be sneaking holding shift and right clicking right now so you can be building a random bridge across a lava pit and not fall in the lava so i'll just do the hotkey combination for you just to prove that it works so right now i'm going to press Control alt p now if i right click i should press just keep putting hay bales down there we go and we'll press Control alt p again and we're back to randomization. So thank you very much for watching everybody. I appreciate you using my script. Uh, if you've got any comments on how I could make it better, please comment below. Now there are a few things that I do want to make better and I'll list those in the description, but I'll also say them now. Um, I would like to be able to have the user customize their sneak key. So that is for the future. Uh, maybe a toggle all on and a toggle all off for the hotbar and a maybe a tab menu for a bit more help 
So another tab where the user can go to just to get a bullet point of how to use it. So these are all things I need to learn how to put in. So I just thought I'd put out version one of the raw learned code and we can only improve on it from there. So thank you very much for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope the script works for you and you create lots of awesome random walls. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.